What's going on guys, Mike Bontempo here, and what I want to do today is show you how we we do a little of our little bit of our omnipresence um, you know, all over YouTube, all over Google search, all over um, pretty much all of the sites in Google Display as well. So right now we actually launched a brand new funnel for our audiobook and I'm setting up the audiences to pull into uh, Google. So this is this is essentially what you do if you and this is one of the ways there's another way where you could actually build it out in in Google but this is like a brand new site I set up the um, Google Analytics code in Google Tag Manager and so you come to analytics you go to admin you go to audience definitions audiences and then you can build out your different um, audiences that you want to essentially retarget with. So I already have 14, 30, 60, 90, um, and now I'm going to do 90 days. So we'll just do, so I'm split testing three different, um, three different sales pages on the front end. So I'm going to make sure that I include them. Audio direct. And then, so this is going to be 90 days, so it's going to be audiobook visitors cf-90 days. I click next step, and then I'm going to put this in my Google Ads account. I'm going to check that box, I'm going to click OK, and I'm going to publish that, and that actually gets pulled right into um, Google Ads. So I can use this as an audience to essentially retarget through, you know, face, not, not Facebook, um, Google Display. Google search and uh, YouTube. So, you know, anybody who, who's followed me for a little bit, if you clicked on any of my links, you've seen me literally all over the place. And this is, this is how you do it. So, you know, I set up these different audiences so I could actually track in Google. And what we'll do is I'll actually show you how to set up the, the actual ads as well um, coming right after the so the next thing I like to do is actually setting up, set up, um, you know, conversion tracking so I could track my sales. So you, you actually are going to come over to tools, you'll go to conversions and then you can create a new conversion. You'll click website and then I'm going to just call this audiobook CF sale. The category is going to be a purchase or a sale. Um, use the same value for each conversion since I'm selling it for $1.99. Now here, I only want to track one conversion. I don't want to double track. You know, if people go and they refresh the page, I don't want it to continuously track that conversion. I only want it to do it once. The conversion window, I'm gonna make it the longest possible. View through conversion is one day. Attribution model is last click. Create and continue. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use um, Google Tag Manager, and I, I believe so. We're going to use Google Tag Manager. We're going to come over here. We're going to do new and we're just going to call this Google Audiobook Sale. We're going to put it in the correct folder, Google, and then essentially it's going to be Google Ads conversion tracking. You're going to take this conversion ID from here. You're going to copy it. You're going to put that there and then the conversion label is going to be this. You're going to need to set up the triggers. The trigger is going to be upsell one since I already set this up for Facebook. So I'm going to click that. So when they land on upsell one, which is this page forward slash step two, it's going to trigger conversion. I'm going to click save. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to refresh this. I'm going to make sure that it actually loads and pings on here. So let me just make sure that this, okay, so that refreshed. And then we could come over here and it should show up in the box under preview. So we have Facebook pixel tag, Facebook sale, Google audiobook sale, Google analytics. That means that all of this essentially fired. That means that your tracking is working. We could submit this and it's going to be Google version tracking. G. Publish, make sure you publish it. And you come back here, you click next, 
you click done and your tracking is set up. Okay, so now we're just gonna set up a simple responsive display campaign that's gonna follow people around all over the internet. And responsive display is essentially form fitting. So you can use an image and a bunch of different texts and, and Google has, like I'm sure you've seen it, it has the text, it has that little image and it pretty much follows you all around um, you know, Google and, and, and the internet. And there's two, there's two types you can run. You can run banner ads or you could do responsive display. Responsive display is a lot easier to create unless you have bannersnack.com start out start off with responsive display. So we're gonna do create a campaign without a goals guidance because I do not want to do target CPA. If you use leads or website traffic, Google will try to find a target cost per acquisition and essentially run to that. If you don't have enough data on the funnel, which I don't since this is a new funnel, um, it's not really going to run for you. So create a campaign without a goals guidance, and then we're gonna do display. It's gonna be a standard display campaign. I'm not gonna put a website there. So I'm going to name it. Always have your naming conventions uh, proper. So, you know, like for me, I have a team, and my, my team needs to be able to see what campaigns are running. So this is going to be audiobook, CF, retargeting, and then it's going to be um, responsive display. So I want my team to be able to easily see this and be like, okay, this is the audiobook for ClickFunnels. It's a retargeting campaign and it's responsive display. And I'm actually gonna do all countries and territories um, since I'm running um, I'm, I'm running worldwide on Facebook and that's where most of my traffic is actually coming. The, the language um, my customers speak is English. We're going to do manual CPC, help increase conversions with enhanced CPC. The budget I want to do is $15 since this is brand new. The ad group one is fine. So this is actually where you're going to pull in the audiences that we just created. So we're going to go to, if you didn't see that, how they have interacted with your business. You're gonna click on that. You're gonna to go to website visitors. And then what we can do is we'll just do all of these audiences. Boom, CF, CF, CF. And then you'll actually see how each one of these audiences does. Um, and right now, the, the since it's a brand new funnel, I don't really have many, you know, I don't have people in this since I just set it up. Um, we want to get rid of conservative automation. Conservative automation essentially allows Google to go outside of your retargeting audiences and, uh, you know, find people and you just want to retarget the people that have already be, been introduced to your brand. Um, the ad group bid, I'm just going to do 50 cents. Now this is where we create the ads. We're going to do a responsive display ad. And then, so the final URL is going to be, and this is going to be different for me because of how I'm set up, but I'm just going to do MikeBontempo.com. Well, it's actually going to be LP, LP.MikeBontempo.com slash audio story. Now it's actually going to go to a different link and I'll show you what I mean in a second, but this is going to pull the pictures that I want from here and then I also have some other photos that I can use. This is actually a brand new computer so I don't have um, too many photos on this so I might have to, yeah, so recently used. So I'm going to use this, image, logo, continue. So it will actually test all of these, um, these images. And yes, I know I look like an asshole here. So don't, uh, don't hold, don't, don't be too mad at me. So that, and then we'll do one with Russell as well. Let me get, let me get the full image. Cool. So now we're testing essentially all these images. The headline's going to be
So it will actually test all of these um, all of these headlines for us. So a long headline can be Business name is going to be Mike Bontempo. The description is going to be the same as one of this. So I'm just going to copy this. So now this is where it's going to be different for me. So I'm using um, one, one second. So I'm using uh, Improvely Link, which is essentially going to rotate through the three different landing pages. That I'm testing so I'm gonna actually come here and this so I'm gonna clone this this is gonna be called Google display I'm gonna save and continue I'm gonna copy this and this is actually going to it's gonna go to the tracking template first and it's gonna rotate um, throughout those three those three landers so if you want to actually test your final URL has to be um, it has to match but your tracking template can actually be you know like an improvely link and you can um, you know test that so then more options the call to action text is just going to be um, sign up and that's it that's pretty much how you do it and there there you go you add to add group and that's that's pretty much it you click create campaign and now once the audience is big enough it's going to so these audiences aren't big enough yet you see it has to be around like a thousand people but you'll actually be able to see how each audience performs um, you know and I could you know split these up a little bit more if I want um, but then this will also show me so Google's AI will find me the best combination of uh, you know ads so it'll run the best photo it'll run the best uh, headlines best long headlines and uh, you know 15 bucks a day and I'm gonna be all over the internet so this campaign right here will definitely help you uh, you know bring in more sales but it also brings omnipresence to you so if you are doing high ticket on the phone it allows you to close more deals you wouldn't believe how many deals I've closed because uh, you know they're like I see you everywhere Mike like you're literally everywhere and you know it, you know when people see you everywhere it's it looks like you're spending a ton of money which in reality you're really not but uh definitely recommend this if you have any questions let me know now if you're watching this on my site there's going to be a link below you can book a call i'll actually set up this whole campaign for you this is part of our omnipresence package if you're on facebook watching this i'll drop a link to book a call below if you have any questions uh, you can always shoot me an email if you're on facebook drop a comment and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon.